Do you want to grow vegetables that are just way too easy to grow? They require very minimal effort. Here are some of the easy to grow spring vegetable seeds. You can start in January, February or March depending on your zone and you can start them indoors or directly plant them outside in your garden and they will start to grow automatically when the temperatures are favorable. Well, get ready to grow and you'll be harvesting a lot of these vegetables. Number one, peas. Now, peas are really easy to grow. You can grow peas in early fall or in early spring as well. And they are frost resistant too. Peas can withstand temperatures down to 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is nearly 2 degrees Celsius. Pea seeds are very quick to germinate. Pea seeds can germinate in about 3 to 5 days and you can have seedlings in about 7 to 10 days. So the seeds of peas have an inch deep. Plant spacing should be 3 to 4 inches apart and row spacing 2 feet apart. Pea plants are very fast growing and that's what makes them really easy to grow as well. Peas also have a display of very beautiful flowers. They will tower over 2 feet in just about 30 to 40 days. You can start harvesting peas just 2 months after planting. Next, potatoes, which is also my favorite. And the best time to plant your potatoes is just about a week before your last frost date. If your potato is the size of an egg or smaller, plant the whole potato. Make sure you only have one to two eyes on potatoes. So you have lots of eyes, it will create a lot more plants and the potatoes will be much smaller. You'll get a lot more potatoes, but very small potatoes. But if you keep only one or two eyes on your potatoes, you'll get fewer potatoes but very large potatoes. I have a separate video on the experiment that I conducted on this and you can check out the results as well. Now if the potatoes that you're planting are bigger than the size of an egg, you can cut the potatoes in half or even quarters depending on the size of the potato. If you do cut the potato, make sure the scar heals up very nicely. It takes about a week for the scars to heal up and then you can plant potatoes directly in your garden. When you're planting your potatoes, make sure you plant them at least four to six inches deep and they are at least 12 inches apart. I have a separate video on everything you need to know on how to plant potatoes. You can harvest potatoes three months after planting and potatoes are a lot of fun to grow. You can also grow potatoes in containers. Leave some room on the top. This way you can keep adding more soil as the plants grow. This is equal to hilling or mounting the potatoes. Number three, radish. Now, if there's any root vegetables that's just super easy to grow, it's radish. It can start harvesting radish just 30 days after planting as well. You can grow radish in spring and in fall. So you can plant radish seeds in February and March and also in August and September. Plant radish seeds quarter of an inch deep. Plant spacing should be three to four inches apart and row spacing 12 inches apart. Plant radish seeds in succession every week and you'll have a continuous harvest of bountiful radish all season long. Number four, Swiss chard, and Swiss chard is super easy to grow. Now, if you could only grow five vegetables, these top five vegetables are the ones you can easily grow and have absolute 100% success rate and never fail. You can grow Swiss chard in spring and in fall. That's in February or March or August or September. As soon as Swiss chard develops four sets of leaves, you can start harvesting Swiss chard leaves. Plant Swiss chard seeds half an inch deep. Plant spacing should be 12 inches apart and row spacing 18 to 24 inches apart. As Swiss chard is growing, it will produce a lot of leaves and you can keep harvesting a lot of Swiss chard leaves and add them to your salad and you can even saute the Swiss chard leaves. I prefer Swiss chard over kale and collard greens anytime because kale and collard greens can be tough but Swiss chard is always tender and sweet. Number five, lettuce. And lettuce is also very easy to grow and the best time to plant your lettuce is in fall or spring. Lettuce likes cool weather. It will bolt in hot weather above 80 degrees Fahrenheit which is 26 degrees Celsius. Lettuce starts to produce leaves just one month after planting, so you can start harvesting leaves as soon as the lettuce has four sets of leaves. So lettuce seeds go of an inch deep, plant and row spacing should be 12 inches apart. After two to three months, depending on the variety, you can harvest the whole head of lettuce as well. Now you can grow almost any variety of lettuce. You can grow romaine lettuce, curly leaf lettuce, or salad bowl lettuce. Number six, carrots. Now carrots are very easy to grow if you know how to properly grow carrots. I go with a shovel and then I turn my soil. That way the bottom soil is on the top, suppresses the weeds, and also makes the soil loose. After loosening up my soil, I make the soil flat and then I water the soil completely. I drench the soil so there's a lot of moisture in the soil. And then I go with my hand shovel or a trowel and I make trenches about one foot apart. Drop the seeds in trenches and I use two to three inches of seed spacing. The best way to start carrot seeds and germinate carrot seeds is to cover the seeds right after planting. It takes about seven to 10 days for the carrot seeds to germinate. 
and you can lift the cardboard just a little bit to see if the carrot seeds are germinating. As soon as the carrot seeds start to germinate, you can lift the cardboard completely and let them grow. And it just takes three months to start harvesting carrots and you can grow lots of carrots in a very small area. Well, if you like this video, check out this video right here about the vegetable you should always grow in summer. And I'll see you in another video. And Lily says bye as well.